In this tip of the day, let's take a look at rotating geometry within one CNC. Now, if you're going to rotate geometry, if you're going to mirror it or move it or scale it, you're going to need to select the geometry first. Now, that's easily done using any of the selection tools up here, or you can simply hit Control A, Control Alpha on the keyboard to select everything on the screen. Once you've selected the geometry, now you can rotate. Now there's two places to select the rotate tool. You can head over to the command manager and select transform and then select rotate. That's one method or you can choose from the transform tools located at the top of the screen. Select the third option from the right and that's your rotate tool. Once you've done that, one CNC wants us to specify a location to rotate the geometry around. Now you can come over here to where it says coordinate. You can type in a location. I'm going to use X0, Y0, Z0 which is the default. I'll click OK. And there we go. Notice how 1CNC provides us with a digital compass. This digital compass is going to be applied to the current construction plane and it's divided up into handy 15 degree increments. What makes it very easy to snap those increments and rotate the part. I'm going to snap here at 90 degrees, left click, and that's it. Very, very simple. Okay, let's undo this and let me give you another example. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to select the geometry, control A on the keyboard. We're going to go into rotate. This time I'm going to just digitize the datum with a left click. All right, and instead of using the digital compass, I'm going to head over to the command manager and I'm going to use these parameters. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate copies and I'm going to have one in here for one copy. Now we're going to come down here and designate the angle that we'd like to rotate around. Now notice how there's two sets of X, Y, and Z parameters. The first three parameters are rotating around the current construction plane and the last three parameters are if you'd like to rotate around the world coordinate system. In this example, because I don't have any extra construction planes, it really doesn't matter which set we use here. So why don't we rotate around the z-axis 180 degrees. That looks great. We'll click OK. And there we go. And you can see that because we specified a copy of one, we have one copy and that's rotated 180 degrees around the datum. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.